Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube Station and we're going to continue with our retro replay using Pure Sim Baseball with the 1976 Mark LeBird Fidrick season, Massachusetts native. Uh, he won the Rookie of the Year in 1976. He was 19 and 9 with an earned run average of 2.34 so far in the replay in five starts. A little behind schedule. He's 2 and 3. He's lost a few close games. Earned run average 2.93. He'll be facing the Kansas City Royals today. And this Pearson baseball is a free baseball game. I have provided the website below. If you'd like and you haven't, check it out. Load it up to your computer. It's a very fun game. There's no dice or anything like that. It's all done in the background. You do have to have baseball knowledge, but it's easy to pick up. It's a very fun game. You can load pictures and uh, logos and stadiums. Stadiums are a little harder to load, not the pictures, but giving you dimensions correct. So let's go to the preview here and get started. In the chat, we have good friend of the channel, Stratomatic Delaware. Hope all is well, my friend. Remember to check out um, Stratomatic Delaware. Great retro card and dice sports channel. He has baseball, football, hockey, golf. I really did enjoy the golf. That, that, that really ran smooth, Chris. Um... I saw your post on the football, oh, the basketball. I think you said the basketball ran really long. And I think that's a good choice that you have to figure out how you want to do that. Uh, like the hockey, that was fun too. I like the Zamboni, great touch. Um, so once again, that's Stratomatic Delaware. This is the gem that I plugged, along with some other channels, on my Walking Dead recap and review last night with Broke Black Man 94 Check him out also. So, let's get to the um, ball game here. <clears throat> um, Alright, so we have the Kansas City Royals visiting the Detroit Tigers. Kansas City's 34 wins and 23 losses. Detroit's one game under 500 at 27 and 28. For the Kansas City Royals, leading off, playing second base, Dave Nelson. Batting second, the center fielder, Amos Otis. Batting third, this is very odd when I looked up the lineup to make sure it was correct. George Brett is playing shortstop in this game, and that is correct. Uh, as I also have the baseball reference, uh, Mark DeFidrich site, so you can check that out and follow along to what they actually did. Um, John Mayberry, the cleanup hitter, playing first base. Hal McRae in left field, batting fifth. Tony Soliata. The designated hitter, batting 6th, Tom Poquette in right field, batting 7th, Jamie Quirk playing 3rd base, batting 8th, and doing the catching, Buck Martinez batting ninth. For Detroit, Ron LaFleur is in center, batting 1st, Pedro Garcia is at 2nd, batting 2nd, Dan Myers in left field, batting 3rd. The cleanup hitter, La Grande a la Range, Rusty Staub in right field. Jason Thompson's playing first base, batting fifth. Batting sixth, the designated hitter, Alex Johnson. Batting seventh, the third baseman, Aurelio Rodriguez. Batting eighth, Mark the Bird Fidrich's personal catcher, Bruce Kim. And batting ninth, the shortstop, Chuck Scrivener. Once again, Doug Bird, 4-4, four 3.63 four, <coughs> earned run average in the replay. <coughs> Excuse me, Mark the Bird Fidrix, two wins, three losses, nine point I'm sorry, two point nine three earned run average. Pure Sim Baseball predicts a crushing victory for Kansas City, eight to four. Let's hope that doesn't come true. Hello T dub TV, my good friend, how are you? And remember to check out What's Blazing in Sports with T dub, excellent boxing channel. Totally enjoyed your um, upcoming uh, fight review with uh, Stervain and, <clears throat> excuse me, oh my god, my brain went dead. The gentleman who's the heavyweight champ from Alabama, oh my lord, 
Anyways, very good, very good stuff there. Very good stuff. <clears throat> Delonte Wilder. Oh, boy, brain freeze today. All right, let's move on to the game. And we shall manage the game. Again, they're giving us the lineup. So the weather at Tiger Stadium, 87 degrees, wind uh, out to center field at 2 miles per hour. So it's a nice sunny day, 87 degrees in Detroit. And the home of the... So batting first for the Kansas City Royals is Nelson only batting 159, no home runs, one RBI. He has an high of a six. So Fidrich gets the sign from Kim. He sets and delivers to Nelson. They're going to try to put the bunt down. It's a 1-1 pitch. Nelson puts the bunt down. Kim fields it and fires to Thompson at first for one away. Nice play. By the catcher Kim. Here comes Amos Otis. Otis batting 319 so far in this retro replay. Eight home runs, 33 RBIs. He has an eye of a seven, power, an uh, eye of a six, power of seven. In contact of eight. Friedrich talking to the baseball, looking in at Kim. He's ready to work. Here's the pitch to Otis. One out, no one on. Otis will swing at the first pitch. Grounded uh, to Scribner, who throws to Thompson. Rodriguez let it go. Scribner backhanded it and fired to Thompson at first. Two up, two down. This is where Mark DeBird Fidrich runs into some trouble here. He gets the first two outs in his and can't get the one, two, three. He's going to face a very dangerous hitter, George Brett. Brett batting 310 in the replay. Three home runs, 30 runs driven in. Contact 10, power 5, I6. Fidrich takes a deep breath, looks in at Kim. Here's the pitch to the left handed batting Brett. Two outs, no one on. 1 1 pitch, Brett swings. And that is a line out to Rusty Staub. Mark Fidrich and the Tigers hit that 1 2 3 inning. We go to the bottom of the first, no score. Two up for the Tigers, Ron LeFleur, Pedro Garcia, and Dan Meyer. And they'll be facing Doug Bird out on the mound for the Royals. Stepping to the plate, the right-handed batting center fielder, Ron LeFleur, 280, one home run, and 18 runs driven in. Fleur will be swinging away. Bird gets the sign for Martinez. Here's the pitch to the floor. 0 1 count. Floor swings. Sends that ball towards left. McCray drifts over and makes the catch. Out number one. Here comes Vote for Pedro Garcia. Garcia batting 214, one home run, nine RBIs. Takes in that right-hander's batter's box. Doug Bird gets the sign from Martinez. Here's the pitch to Garcia. One out, no one on. One-one pitch. Garcia swings. That's a pop-up. Martinez calling for it. He throws his mask off and he makes the catch in foul territory for out number two. Two outs, no one on. Here it comes. And Meyer, finally got the pitcher to stay up. Meyer, 257, no home runs, 10 RBIs. Left handed batter facing the right handed throwing Doug Bird. Bird's ready to rock and roll. Here's the pitch to Meyer. 2 2 count. Meyer swings and he goes down swinging. Couldn't catch up to the fastball. One, two, three, go the Tigers. We go to the top of the second. No score. Two up for Kansas City. Mayberry, McCray, and so the top. Here 
comes Mark the Bird Fidrich. He'll be facing John Mayberry, 264, five home runs, 27 runs driven in. Fidrich talking to that ball in, the, in his glove, telling it you better behave. Mark's trying to get his third win. Looks in at Kim. He's ready. Here's the pitch to Mayberry. 2-0 count. Mayberry swings, and he grounds it through the right side for a single. A leadoff single for John Mayberry. Not much speed. 3 out of 10. Excellent double play opportunity here. Detroit pitches the middle with Scrubner and Garcia. He'll be facing Hal McRae, Des uh, the left fielder. 304 batting average, four home runs, 34 runs batted in. Fidrich looks to first, now in at Kim. He sets and delivers. They're trying a hit and run, 1-1 one, one count. And that goes to Scrivener. His only play is the first as the hit and run was on, so there's two. One down, and Mayberry advances to second in scoring position for the designated hitter. Soliata is batting 205, two home runs, five runs knocked in. He has an excellent eye. Fidrich looks behind him. Looks in at Kim. He takes a deep breath. The windup and the pitch to Soliata. One out, one on. 2-0 count, Soliata swings, and that is a grounder. Scrivener backhands it and throws to Thompson for out number two. Mayberry stays put at second. Hello, Christopher Anderson. How are you, my friend? You know what's funny about this game, Chris Anderson? George Brett's playing shortstop. These are the actual as-played lineups. That's pretty funny. I don't ever remember him playing shortstop, um, but he did. Here comes Tom Poquette. Chance to knock in Mayberry with two outs. Mayberry will be off on contact. Poquette, Poquette is batting 319, no home runs, 14 runs driven in. Fidrich rubbing up the baseball. He's down in the palm of his hand. Telling the baseball what he wants it to do. Now points it towards Kim. Steps up on the hill. He toes the rubber. The windup and the pitch to Poquette. Two outs. Mayberry at second. Uh, Poquette's hitting 289. Runners in scoring position. 2 2 count. And the bird strikes him out with a slider. Side retire. Mayberry stranded at second. We go to the bottom of the second. Two up for the Tigers. Stop. Thompson and Johnson. Scoreless ball game here in Detroit. Here's the pitch to Rusty Staub. 3 1 count. And La Grande Alarange walks. So he's on first base. Here comes Mr. Thompson. Jason Thompson. Batting 231, three home runs, and 11 RBIs. Excellent eye, and very good power. Stop, not, not much of a base runner. Four out of ten, Mayberry holding him up. Righty lefty matchup for Doug Bird. Bird looks to first. Now in at Martinez. Here's the pitch to Thompson. 2 0 count. Thompson swings. That's a grounder to Mayberry. Over to Brett. Back to Mayberry. Double play. Excellent play by John Mayberry to get the ball. Throws a strike to Brett, who's playing short. Returns the bag and receives a throw back from George Brett for the DP. Two outs, no one on. Here comes Alex Johnson. Johnson batting 286. One home run, 23 runs driven in. Johnson, the designated hitter today. Looking for something he can grip and rip. The wind up and the pitch by Doug Bird. 1-0 pitch, Johnson swings. Sends that ball to left field. And at the warning track, McCray makes the catch. Side retired. He 
go to the top of the third. Still scoreless here in Detroit. Two up for the Royals. Quirk, Martinez, and Nelson. Have a good night, Stratomatic Delaware. Take care, my friend. Remember to check out Stratomatic Delaware with Chris. Excellent card and dice retro sports channel. Baseball, football, hockey, and golf. He actually has a Zamboni for his hockey game. It's freaking hilarious. All right, here comes J.D. Quirk. Number eight batter, third baseman. He has yet to record a hit this season for the Royals. Fidrich will attempt the pitch around as Quirk has a two out of 10 eye. Let's see if we can get Quirk to chase out of the zone. Kim sets the target. Here's the pitch by the bird. Three, two count. Quirk pops that ball up. Oh, Jason Thompson drops the pop up. So the bird gets time, uh, gets Quirk to reach and Thompson drops the pop up at first. That's an E3 if you're scoring at home. So Quirk's on first base due to the error. That's a big ouch. Here comes Buck Martinez batting 221. No home runs, five RBIs. Tigers are going to attempt to turn two. Scrubberry Garcia pitch in the middle. Fidrich looks to first. Now in at Kim. Here is the pitch to Martinez. Martinez swings at the first pitch. Grounded to Rodriguez. Over to Garcia. On to Thompson. Five to four to three. Double play. The pitcher's best friend. Two for one. So with two outs, base is empty. The top of the order. Nelson, the second baseman, comes to the plate. He is 0 for 1 today. Again, Fidrich walking around the mound. Hit the bird's nest, as we call it. Rubbing the baseball, talking to it. Floppy hair flying everywhere. Now he steps up on the hill. Toes the rubber. Gets the sign from Kim. He rocks and fires. 1-1 one, one count. Nelson swings. It's a pop-up. Kim throws the mask off. He's getting under it. Foul territory towards the third baseline, and he makes the... No! Nelson! Uh, Rodriguez calls Kim off, and he makes the catch for out number three, so they pitch around the Thompson era. We go to the bottom of the third. Still scoreless here in Detroit. Due up for the Tigers. Rodriguez, Kim, and Scrivener. Yes, Brady Apple Trades. Check that out. My good friend Chris has that. It's his new YouTube channel. He's going to discuss how to do some trading on... I'm not sure if it's a stock market, but he's very successful at it. So check out Brady Apple Trading. Brady Apple Trades, excuse me. And Chris, if you want to talk a little more about that in the chat, I'll read it out in a moment. So here comes Aurelio Rodriguez, 271, five home runs, 26 RBIs. Still scoreless here in Detroit. Here's the pitch by Bird. Rodriguez swings at the first pitch. It's a hard hit ball to Quirk. Throws to Mayberry for out number one. Here comes Bruce Kim, batting below 200. 180, one home run, two RBIs. Kim is Fidrich's personal catcher. As Brady Apple trades his stocks and crypto coins. So check out Brady Apple trades. See what it's all about. If you like it, sign up for his channel. Send him a message. So here comes Kim, right handed batter. He takes in. Bird gets the sign from Martinez. Here's the pitch. Kim swings at the first pitch, and that is ripped to 
right center field. He splits the outfielders and he has a one-out double. He's in scoring position. That's Detroit's first hit of the game. And now here comes the number nine batter, the shortstop. Chuck Scrivener. He's batting 190, 145, one home run, eight RBIs. Chance to knock in RBI number nine for Chuck. Martinez pounds the mitt, sets the target. Here's the pitch by Bird. One out, runner in scoring position. Scribner hitting 222 with runners in scoring position. 2 2 pitch, and Scribner goes down on strikes, couldn't catch up to the high heat. Swing and a miss. So with two outs, we go to the top of the order, and the Oregon is trying to rev up the Detroit crowd here. Ron LaFleur steps in late. LaFleur is 0 for 1 today. Chance for an RBI here. Kurt LaFleur. Kim gets his lead off second. He'll be off on contact with two outs. He's a 5 out of 10 base runner. Here's the pitch to LaFleur. Batting 333 with runners in scoring position. 2-0 count. The floor swings, and he gaps one to the left center field. And neither outfield will get that one. That's a two-out double. And Ron LaFleur has an RBI knocking in Kim. 1-0 Detroit. To the cheers of the Tiger faithful here out at the ballpark. And here comes vote for Pedro Garcia. He's 0 for 1. Floor, 9 out of 10 base running ability. He's going to attempt to steal third. Pedro is hitting 261 runs in square position. He swings and he singles. And we're going to send as the third was off and running. He has a 9 out of 10 speed against Amos' old 7 out of 10 arm. We're going to send him home. And the floor scores 2 nothing. Tigers. So Garcia gets himself. An RBI single with two outs. Clutch piece of hitting for vote for Pedro Garcia. Now here comes Dan Meyer. He's 0 for 1 with a strikeout today. Garcia, 5 out of 10 base running ability. Mayberry holding on. Meyer, left-handed batter. Not much power. 3 out of 10. Not that good of an eye either. 4 out of 10. Contact, 7 out of 10. So he does put the ball in play. Bird's ready. Here's the pitch to Meyer. Garcia will be off by contact. 0-2 count. Meyer swings and pass! Work! Garcia 5 out of 10 speed. McCray 8 arm. He shall hold that second. Station to station. The Tigers shall go. So a two out single by Meyer. There's two on. Two outs for La Carande. A la range. Rusty stop. He walked his first time up. And on the season stop, 336, seven home runs, 39 runs driven in for La Grande a la Range. Against right-handed pitching. Stops in 367. So stop with an RBI opportunity here. Birds ready. He sets and delivers to stop. Two outs, two on, two nothing, Tigers. Stop batting 431, runners in the scoring position. Two one count, stop, swing, sends that ball deep. And at the track, McCray makes the catch side retire. But the Tigers score two as we go to the top of the fourth. Detroit two, Kansas City nothing. Do up for the Royals. Otis, Brett, and Mayberry to face Mark the Bird Fittrich. Fitchers throwing a one-hitter so far through three. As he comes bounding out of the dugout, leaping over the foul line, and on to the mound, we call the bird's nest. He toes the rubber, looks in at Kim, gets the sign. Here's the pitch to Otis. 2-2 Two -two count. Otis swings and misses. Curveball. One away. The applause of the Detroit fans. Here comes George Brett. 
Brett's 0 for 1. Fidrich takes a deep breath, wanting to stay in that quick rhythm. He sets and delivers. The 2 2 count on Brett. Brett swings, grounds it to Rodriguez, who throws it to Thompson for out number 2. If he's scoring at home, that's 5 to 3. Two outs, no one on. Here comes John Mayberry. Left handed batting first baseman. He's one for one today. Fidrich rubbing up the baseball. Talking to the baseball. Again, if you've watched Mark the Bird Fidrich, these, these antics are not new to you. This is what he does. Now he points the baseball towards the plate. Kim sets the target. The lineup and the pitch to Mayberry. Two outs, no one on, 3 1 count. It's a grounder to Thompson, and he flips to Fidrich, covering the bag. 1 2 3 goal the Royals. We go to the bottom of fourth, 2 0. Detroit, two up for the Tigers. Thompson, Johnson, and Rodriguez. To face Doug Bird. Doug Bird's now at 63% stamina. Him up two runs on four hits. And he'll face Thompson, who wants to make amends for his error on the pop up. Thompson hold for one. Righty lefty natural. Bird gets the sign from Martinez. Here's the pitch to Thompson. Three two count. Thompson swings, grounds to Brett at short. Throws to Mayberry for the first out of the inning. One down. Here in the bottom of the fourth. And here comes Alex Johnson. He's 0 for 1. Johnson above average power. Digs in that right hander's batter's box. Doug Bird toes the rubber. Looks in at Martinez. Nods his head. Here is the pitch to Johnson. One out. No one on. 2 nothing Tigers. Bottom of the fourth. 3 2 pitch. Johnson swings, sends that ball out to left. McCray goes back a bit and makes the catch for out number two. Two up, two down. Here comes the Tiger third baseman, Aurelio Rodriguez. To extend the inning here, he's over for one. Martinez flashes the fingers, sets the target. Here's the pitch by Bird. 1-2 count on Rodriguez, and that's a high pop-up. Foul territory near the plate. Who's going to call for it? And Quirk, the third baseman, comes in, calls off Martinez, makes the catch side, retired. We go to the top of the fifth, 2-0 two Detroit. Two up for the Kansas City Royals, Hal McCray, Tony Saliata, and Tom Poquette. Mark the Bird Fidrich, he's throwing a one-hitter through four. He's got a two-nothing lead. Al McCray's 0 for one. Very good eye above average power. Good contact hitter. Fidrich takes a deep breath up on the bird's nest. He's ready to work. Here's the pitch to McCray. 0-2 count on Al. Sends that ball out to right field. Stop is there, and he makes the catch for out number one. So one away, and here comes Tony Salieta. Seven out of ten power, excellent eye, eight out of ten. And good contact, seven out of ten. And though it hasn't materialized to a good batting average yet, he's only batting 200 for the Royals in this retro replay. One out, no one on. Here's the pitch by the bird. So the Etta swings at the first pitch, grounds it to Garcia, who flips to Thompson for out number two. Fidrich takes his cap off, wipes his forehead, puts his cap back on. Toes the rubber. Tom Poquette's at the plate. He's 0 for 1. Left handed batting right fielder. Here's the pitch to Poquette. 
two outs, no one on. Two two count on Pochetti. Swings and he sends that ball to right center field, and that's going to get down and go to the wall. And Tom Pochetti has himself a two out triple. 90 feet away from breaking up the shutout now. Fidrich a little upset with himself. That slider stayed straight. Lucky that pitch stayed in the ballpark. So two outs, runner at third, and here comes Jamie Quirk, the third baseman. Quirk's 0 for 1, he has an RBI opportunity here. On the season, Quirk is hitless. So he can get a lot of firsts. If he gets a hit, it's his first hit of the season. It'll be his first RBI. Kim goes out to have a quick word, Mark the Bird Fitrich. Rodriguez and Thompson meet him on the mound. Meeting adjourned. Players back to their position. Quirk jogs back behind the plate, squats down behind the plate. Sets the target. The windup. And the pitch to Jamie Quirk. Two outs. Runner at third. Two nothing Tigers. 0 oh, 1 pitch. Quirk swings. And it's a grounder backhanded by Garcia. Who throws to Thompson for out number three. Side retire. We go to the bottom of the fifth. 2 nothing Tigers. Two up for Detroit. Bruce Kim, Chuck Scribner, and Ron LaFleur. So Kansas City strands the runner at third. As we go to the bottom of the fifth, here comes Bruce Kim. He's one for one with a double, and he scored a run. Doug Bird back out on the mound. He's thrown 59 pitches. Actually, that's Mark Bird. Fitcher just stabs. We'll know how many pitches in a second. Doug Bird is at 56% stamina, though. Kim's ready. He awaits the Bird offering, and here it is. One-two count, and Kim strikes out. Big swing and a miss on the fastball. Bird threw it by him. It's now up to 61 pitches, so there's one down. Here comes the number nine batter, Chuck Scrivener. He's 0 for 1 with a strikeout. He's going to attempt to... I want him to attempt to for a fun hit. It's not letting me. And there we go. He's going to try to put a bun hit down. Try to surprise them. One, two count. And Scrivener strikes out. So after failing to get the bun hit, big swing and a miss on the fastball. That's Scrivener's second K. Two down, top of the order, on the floor. Scores one for two, double, and knocked in Kim back in the bottom of third. Two outs, no one on. Here is the pitch of the floor. One, two, count. The floor swings. Grounded pass for, for a single. Rob the floor is on. His second hit is now two for three. Definitely a threat to steal. Here comes Pedro Garcia. He's one for two with an RBI. He knocked around the floor in with a single. And the is trying to steal third. He's going to attempt to steal second now. With Garcia at the plate. And Garcia grounds to Brett, who throws to Mayberry. Inning over. So the floor was unable to steal second. We go to the top of the 6 2 nothing Detroit. Two up for the Royals. Martinez, Nelson, and Amos Otis. Martinez, he's 0 for 1. Mark the Bird, Fitchers throwing a two hitter through five. He's ready to work. Here's the pitch to Martinez. 2 1 count. Martinez swings and he lines out to Garcia at second. Out number one. Top of the order. Here comes Nelson. We're in the second baseman. 0 for 2. Currently batting 152 with an RBI. Fidrich takes a deep breath. Looks in at Kim. 
nods his head. Here's the pitch to Nelson. One out, no one on. Two nothing. Detroit. 0 oh, 2 count. Nelson right. swings and he goes down on strikes. Good movement on that fastball as it dipped away from Nelson. So two outs, no one on. Here comes Amos Otis. He's old for two today with a strikeout. Is currently batting 317, eight home runs, 33 runs driven in. Seven out of ten power, six out of ten on. Eight out of ten contact. Friedrich rubbing up that baseball glove under his arm. He's talking to that baseball. Telling him what he wants it to do. Puts the glove back on. Steps up. On the bird's nest, looks in at Kim. Here's the pitch to Otis. Two two count. Otis swings, rounds it to Rio Rodriguez, who throws to Thompson for out number three. One two three. Go to the Royals. We go to the bottom of the six. Two to nothing. Detroit. Two up for the Tigers. Myers, Stop and Thompson. So far, Fitchrich is pitching a gem here. Here comes Meyer. Tiger left fielder, one for two, the strikeout. Doug Bird back out on the mound for the Royals at 49% stamina. He's ready to work. Here's the pitch. One one count. Meyer swings. And that's going to drop in front of Amos Otis in center. A soft line drive to center. Meyer has his second hit. He's now two for three. As the Tigers fans start to rock and roll here in Detroit Rock City. Meyer, six out of ten base runner. Here comes Rusty Stop, La Grande a la Range. Tigers' best hitter this year. All for one with a walk. Kansas City wanting to turn two up the middle with Brett and Nelson pinching the middle. Here's the pitch to stop. Stop swings at the first pitch. It's a fielder's choice, so stop grounds out to Mayberry. They're unable to turn the... No, I'm sorry. Mayberry goes to Brett at short. They get the force out of Meyer. Stop is safe at first. So Rusty stops at first, but one away. And here comes Thompson. First baseman's old for two. Bird looks to Mayberry at first, now in at Martinez. Martinez sets the target. Here's the pitch to Thompson. One out, one on, two nothing Detroit. One, two count. Thompson swings. And that is a single up the middle. Rusty stop, 4 out of 10 speed, will not challenge. Enos hold his 7 out of 10 arms. Station to station, the Tigers go. He shall hold that second. So Jason Thompson has his first hit. He's now 1 for 3. 2 on, 1 out. Here comes Alex Johnson. He's 0 for 2, the designated hitter, right handed batter. Doug Bird's now up to 80 pitches and 41% stamina. Johnson with an RPI opportunity here. On the season, he has 23 RBIs, one home run, he's batting 284. Bird gets the sign for Martinez. He sets and delivers to Johnson. One out, two on, two nothing, Tigers. Johnson batting for 246, runners in scoring position. Oh, one count, Johnson swings. Brett Fields, it flips it to Nelson, and on the Mayberry double play. Side, retired. Tigers squander those two runners. We go to the top of the seventh, two nothing. Detroit do up for the Royals. Brett, Mayberry, and McCray. So here comes George Brett. He's over for two. Fidrich through six is throwing a two hitter. He's ready to work. Here's the pitch to Brett. Brett swings at the first pitch. It's grounded to the shortstop, Scribner, who throws to Thompson. One away if you're scoring at home, that goes six to three. Here comes John Mayberry, who's one for two today. Fidrich up to 72 pitches. His 
his stamina's at 87%. So he's been cruising along. A few pickups, but he's pitched out of them. Mayberry digs in the left hander's batter's box. Friedrich is ready. He sets in and delivers to Mayberry. 2 0 count. Mayberry swings. Rodriguez backhands it at third, throws to Thompson. Out number two. So with two outs, no one on. Here comes the left fielder for the Royals. Hal McCray, he's 0 for 2. Fidrich looking for a 1 2 3, and he works quickly. Here's the pitch to McCray. McCray swings at the first pitch. That ball is popped up to Scrivener at short. He makes the catch. Side retired. The Royals once again go down 1 2 3. We go to the bottom of the seventh. 2 0. Tigers do up for Detroit. Aurelio Rodriguez, Bruce Kim, and Chuck Scrivener. Rodriguez is a wolf for two. Digs in the right hander's batter's box. Doug Bird is ready. Martinez sets the target. Here's the pitch to Aurelio. 1 0 count. Rodriguez swings. And that's a line out to Poquette who goes racing back and reaches up and makes the catch in right field. One down, and here comes the catcher, Bruce Kim. One for two, a strikeout, and a double. He scored a run. Kim looking for a second hit. Bird nods his head. Here's the pitch to Kim. 2-2 two -two count, Kim swings, and he goes down swinging. Again, they've been chasing that high fastball at times, these Tigers batters, so there's two outs, no one on, bottom of the seventh, two nothing Tigers, and here comes the number nine batter, Chuck Scrivener, he's old for two, he struck out twice. Bird works quickly. Here's the pitch to Scribner. 0-2 count. And that's a single through the hole on the left side. So on the 0-2 count, Scribner was sitting on the breaking pitch, and he slaps the ball through the hole between Quirk and Brett. In the top of the order now, Ron LaFleur, who's 2 for 3. He has a double and an RBI. Scribner will be off on contact with two outs. Four out of ten speed. Mayberry holding him on at first. Bird looks to Mayberry. Now in at Martinez. Here's the pitch to the floor. 3-1 count. All four. And the floor walks. He doesn't chase the high cheese as so many Tiger batters have in this game. So it's first and second. Scribner moves into scoring position with two outs. Here comes vote for Pedro Garcia. One for three with an RBI. Chance to knock in his second RBI for Pedro. Martinez goes out to have a quick word with Bird. It's up to 97 pitches. Stamina down to 30%. Martinez back behind the plate. Flashes the fingers. Bird nods his head. Here's the pitch to Garcia. Two outs, two on, two nothing Tigers. Garcia swings at the first pitch and he lines that shot into left. Scribner, even though he's off on off running with two outs, is only four out of ten speed. He will not challenge the hard hit ball in the Hal McCray. His arms are eight out of ten, so station to station for the Tigers. on the floor is now, uh, I'm sorry, Garcia is now two for four. Bases are loaded. There are two outs. Kansas City has bullpen action up. Here comes Mr. Meyer. Dan Meyer's two for three with a strikeout. He's got a chance to knock in a couple of runs here. Runners will be off by contact. Righty lefty matchup for Bird. Here's the pitch to Meyer. Meyer batting 538 with runners in the scoring position. 2-0 count. Meyer swings and it's a pop-up. To Quirk at third. The Tigers squander bases loaded. We go to the top of the eighth. 2-0 Detroit. Two up for Kansas City. Tony Saliata, Tom Poquette, and Jamie Quirk. To face Mark the Bird Fidrich. The 
bird still at, he's at 91% stamina. He has been cruising along. But this is where the bird gets in trouble here. So we have the bullpen up and ready to go. Top of the eighth. Here comes Salata. Over for two. Here's the pitch to Tony. Left-handed batter. 2-2 two -two count. He swings and he grounds it past Garcia for a leadoff single. So the out the 4 out of 10 base running ability will be held on by Thompson at first. Here comes Tom Polkett. He represents the tying run at the plate to left-handed batter. Polkett, 9 out of 10 contact, 3 out of 10 high, 6 out of 10 power. It's 1 for 2 today. He struck out the triple. 321 batting average. 14 RBIs. Off right handed pitching, 323. Pedrich takes a deep breath, looks to first, now in at Kim, gets the sign, here's the pitch to Poquette. Tigers want to turn two in the infield with Scribner and Garcia. 1 0 count, Poquette swings, and that's going to be a line drive single to center. Salida moves to second and stops. So the first two runners are on. Back to back singles, and here comes Jamie Quirk. Royals third baseman's goal for two. He is hitless in this season. This could be Mark DeBerg Fidridge's last batter faced. Again, the Tigers want to turn two here for the bird. Kim goes out to have a quick word with Fidridge. Jogs back behind the plate, squats down, pounds the mitt, sets the target. Here's the pitch to Quirk. Two on, no outs, two nothing Tigers, top of the eighth. 0 oh, 1 count, Quirk swings. And he sends that ball to center. The floor is there and he makes the catch. Fleur had to come in on it. He made the catch look easy. So there's one down here from Buck Martinez, the number nine batter. The catcher, he's 0 for 2. On the season 214 against right handed pitching, 154. One out, two on. Fidrich up to 85 pitching. Takes that deep breath. Here's the pitch to Buck Martinez. And Martinez grounds it to Rodriguez and throws the first as he had to come charging in on the ball for two outs. But the runners now advance to second and third. So Yata is at third. Paquette is at second. Paquette represents a tying run. And here comes Nelson. Nelson. He's 0 for 3 with a strikeout. Dave Nelson. 6 contact. 3 power. 6 high. On the season, Dave Nelson's batting 149. And it's right handed pitching 138. Fridrich one out away from getting out of his jam. Rubbing up the baseball, he's talking to it. Steps back up on the bird's nest. Again, takes that big, deep breath. The big wind-up, the pitch to Nelson. Two on, two outs, two nothing Tigers, top of the eighth. Oh, one count, Nelson swings. And that's a double down the left field line. And this ball game is tied. Oh, wow. So once again, Mark DeBerg Fittrich pitches late into the game, but he gives up the two-out double, and it's a tie ball game, 2-2. Two -two. Here comes Amos Otis, batting 315 on the season. Eight home runs, 33 RBIs, and he is 0 for 3 today with a strikeout. 3-0-9 of right-handed pitching. Fidrich is now down to 71% stamina. We're going to give him one more batter. On deck is Brett. Here's the pitch to Otis. Go ahead, run on second, and Nelson. 0 2 count on Otis. He swings, he grounds it to Rodriguez, who throws to Thompson's side, retired, but the Royals tie it up 
on the two-out double by Dave Nelson. It's 2-2. Two -two. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Two up for Detroit. Stop. Thompson and Johnson. So another quality start so far for Martin Birch. Pittridge through eight, two runs, five hits. And here comes La Grande all around. Rusty Staub over for two with a walk. Doug Bird back out on the mound. 32% stamina. Staub digs in, looking for a pitch he can drive out of the ballpark. Here's the pitch by Bird. Staub swings at the first pitch. And that's a line out to center to Amos Otis. One down. Stop hit it hard, but right at Otis. Here comes Jason Thompson. Thompson one for three. He'd love to hit one out. Left-handed power bat. Struggled so far in the retro play. 233, three home runs, 11 runs driven in. Bird's ready. Here's the pitch to Thompson. 1 0 count. Thompson swings. And that's a high fly ball to Otis, who drifts back a bit and makes the catch for out number two in center field. Two outs, no one on. Here comes Alex Johnson. He is one for three today. Off for eight handers, he's back. That's 290. Love to get off the Schneid here. Extend this inning. Bird works quickly. Here's the pitch to Johnson. 2 1 count. Johnson swings. It's a pop up to Nelson at second. He makes the catch. Side retired. We go to the top of the ninth. Knotted at two here in Detroit. Due up for the Royals, Brett Mayberry and McCray. Let's make that decision if Mark the Bird Fridrich is going to come out again for the top of the ninth. Today he's 0 for 3. Fitchers had 71% stamina. We're going to let him pitch. Here's the delivery by the bird to Brett. 2 0 count. Brett swings. That's a double down the right field line, and that's going to be it for Mark the Bird Fitchers. As John Mayberry's coming to play, he's 1 for 3. Go ahead, run at second. Our bullpen. Another good outing by the bird. She's keeping the eighth and ninth innings are really tough for him. She doesn't make well, I mean it makes sense. He, he gets them there. I'm gonna have to really think about yanking it in those innings in the retro replay. I like to go to Dave Lemansic usually. As you can see, his earned run average is zero, but he's in the red, which means he's very tired. John Hiller, the closer, is not that good. So they have lefty, righty, lefty. Hiller versus lefties, 238 batting average. Well, we're going to bring in Hiller. Click on Fitrich. Click on our closer, Hiller. And click Apply Changes. So here comes John Hiller. On the retro replay, three wins, one loss. He's thrown 18 and two-thirds innings, 4.34 earned run average. He's walked 13, struck out 13. That never gives me a lot of confidence there. <laughs> Go ahead and run. That second, Brett. He's tougher on lefties than righties. Mayberry's a lefty. He has 10 saves and he has four blown saves. Not a save opportunity or chance to possibly win the game. Here's the pitch to Mayberry. Bird's responsible for Fred at second. 2 1 count. Mayberry swings and he 
singles up the middle. Let's see if they're going to send Brett. And they hold George Brett, so runners are at the corners now. And here comes Hal McCray. McCray is 0 for 3. Righties do a job on Hiller. Then we have lefty, 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 lefty. He's batting 290 off the lefties. And today, McCray is 0 for 3. We're going to try to do a pitch around, see if we can get McCray to reach. Actually, we're going to have to play the infield in 2 2 game, first and third, no outs. So, infield in. Here's the pitch around. Pitch to McCray. First, uh, Pawtech comes in to run at first. Nine out of ten speed. So we got to restart that again. We want the infield in. Pitch around. The wind up and the pitch to McCray. McCray, 324 runners in scoring position. Pottek attempting to steal. And he's thrown out by Kim. Wow. One away. Brett is now at third with one out. So Bruce Kim, six out of ten arm. On the pitch around, must have got a good pitch to throw down to second. Tag applied by Garcia. They throw out the speedy Freddie Pottek. The little general goes back to the bench. So with first base open and lefties coming up, we're going to walk Hal McCray. And they intentionally walk McCray. Set up the double play possibility, but they're still going to play the infield in. Here comes Tony Salita. One for three today. Against lefties, he actually bats a little better, 250. Miller gets aside from Kim. Here's the pitch to Salita. One out. Runners at the corners. 2 2 ball game. 2 1 count. Salita swings. And he grounds it up the middle for a base hit. And the Royals take a 3-2 lead. So Mark Fidrich is on the hook for the loss now. Runners at first and second. Here comes Tom Poquette. Now, Tiger to hope to turn two with Scribner and Garcia up the middle. Kim sets the target. Killer is ready to work. Here's the pitch to Poquette. 3-2 Royals. One out, top of the ninth. They threaten to score more. 3 0 count. Ball four. Uh, and Hiller walks him. I hate John Hiller. That's why I never use him. Bases are loaded. Here comes Jamie Quirk. Quirk, another left handed batter. Yeah, he's hitless. So 3 to 2. We're going to play our defense. Normal. Hopefully, we get a double play ball here out of Quirk. Kim goes out to have a word with Hiller, back behind the plate. The lined up in the pitch by Hiller. No place to put court. One out, base is loaded. One, two count. It's a fly ball to the floor. He makes the catch. Tagging McCray. McCray's speed is six. The floor's arm is at eight. We're going to throw to the plate. And they nail him! Ron LaFleur nails Hal McCray at the plate for out number three. But the Royals take the lead three to two. As we go to the bottom of the ninth, and Mark the Bird Fidrich is on the hook. For the losses, we have ID Gesture in the chat. He says, the bird is the word. Hello. How are you, my friend ID? Hope all is well. 
I'm going to check out ID Gesture. That's another wonderful uh, YouTube channel. I subscribe to it, so should you. Check out ID Gesture. So, bottom of the ninth, Doug Burt he is still out on the mound. He's got a chance to win it. To give you Mark DeBurge Fittridge's final numbers here. As he went eight innings, six hits, three runs, they were all earned. Walk zero, struck out three. His ERA is now up to three. John Hiller, so far, one inning, two hits. He let the inherited runner score in two walks. A huge play by Ron Lafleur throwing out Hal McCray on the tag up to end the top of the ninth. So can the Tigers rally to tie the game and possibly go ahead. We shall see. Here comes a real Rodriguez. He's 0 for 3 today. Not Doug Bird. He is due. They wind up being the pitch by Bird. And they make a pitching change. They're going to Steve Mingori. Mingori's Eric Ren average 2.28. No saves, but he has two blown saves. So he has a save opportunity here. It'll be the first of the year for McCory. He's a left-handed thrower. Rodriguez bats 300 off lefties. So this could be a favorable matchup here for Aurelia. McCory's done with his warm-up costume. He's ready to work. Here's the pitch to Rodriguez. He represents a tying run at the plate. 0-1 oh, count. Rodriguez swings. And he singled past the dive for the shortstop. Correct. So Rodriguez is on first. He represents a tying run, but he is pretty much slow as dirt. Two out of ten speed. Let's see if we have anyone faster. Then over the Lee Horton. Tom, Tom Verizer's got to be faster. Bill Freehand. John Walkenfuss. I just like saying that name. John Walkenfuss. I gotta say, Tom Verizer's gotta be faster. Let's check out Tom Verizer's speed. I want you. Uh... Oh, come on. I need to get those players' card. Wow, he's only three. Okay. John Watkins, he's a three. Bill Freehand, two. Mickey Stanley, five. Three. Oh, he's a six. So Mickey Stanley's going to come in and pitch run. Rodriguez. We got to click on Rodriguez and here comes Mickey Stanley. So he's going to pinch run. I have to remember to switch someone to play third if we go to extra innings. I don't think Mickey Stanley can play third. As I already clicked to change him, I just. There we go. He can play first. And he is awful at third. As you can tell, no, not bad. Shortstop, he's awful. He's average. At third. Or below average, excuse me. Below average to average. Alright, so Mickey Stanley's going to come in and pitch run. Five out of ten. Dave Collins is now playing, um, I'm saying, Al Collins is now coming to play first base. That's interesting. Here comes Bruce Kim, and he's not going to get. He's one for three, but we're going to go with a better, better batter here also. I think we're going to go with free Kim. As Kim on the season is only batting one for 88. Yeah, I have a lot of slow-ass dudes on this team ID. <laughs> As I did gesture in chat says some slow ass dudes. Even you can run faster than that. I can. At my advanced age. So I think we're gonna go with freehand. I mean 
Dory's a lefty. Yeah. Freehand hits 387 off lefties. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. Here comes Bill Freehand. So we're going to click on Kim. And Bill Freehand. Pinch it. Stay in the catch if necessary. Apply changes. I really don't want Fidrich to take another tough luck loss. So freehand comes to the plate on the season 319, no home runs, four RBIs. Against left-handed pitching 387. Steely's at first, five out of ten speed. Freehand will be swinging away. Mangori looks to Cowens, holding Steely on. Now in at Martinez, here's the pitch to Freehand. No double play, please. No double play. Freehand swings at the first pitch. And it's a single to right. Coquette has a 9 out of 10 arm. We should go station to station. Stanley will stop at second. So two on, no outs, and here comes Scrapper. Let's see if Mr. Chuck Scrapper, I don't think he's that good of a bunter. He's an average bunter. Oh, he's an average bunter. He's five out of ten. I think we got to attempt to put the sacrifice bunt down here and move Stanley over. Please don't bunt into a double play like you did two games ago. Here's the pitch by McGorry. Scrapper squares. Sacrifice bunt on. Puts the bunt down, and he bunts into a freaking double play. One to six to three. Good going, Scrivener. Freaking second time he's done that. Oh my god. Ah, so I just pitched it for him. Can't even lay a bunt down. So that's a clutch, a crappy bunt. McNory jumps on it right away, throws to Brett, and goes to Commons. So there's two outs, and Stanley is 90 feet away from tying the green game as we have to run the floor. The leadoff batter is two for three, a walk, a double, and an RBI. If they don't tie this game up, Mark Fidrich will take another tough luck loss. And Gory looking for his first save of the season. Here's the pitch to the floor. Lafleur batting 348, runners in scoring position. And Lafleur strikes out on the breaking pitch. Big swing and a miss. Ball game over. The Royals win 3-2, and Mark Fidrich gets another tough luck loss. Ouch. Oh, man. That, that Scrivener killed me. Yeah. I thought he could put the bunt down. But two games ago, he did the same freaking thing. Oh, man. Let's go to the box score. So Mark Fidrich drops to 2-4. and four. He earned run average of 3. Doug Bird goes to 5-4 and four in the retro replay. Ah, oh, another tough luck loss for Fidrich. Ah, oh, it's a... Man, that really stinks. I have to really think about taking him out in the eighth because that's when he gets in all of his trouble and it's not even a lot of trouble he gave up three runs in the last two innings so kansas city goes to 35 and 23 detroit falls two games under 527 29 uh, again fidrich takes the loss he's two and four eight innings six hits three runs all earned no walks three strikeouts through 96 pitches, earned run average up is three. John Hiller, one for two. I never use him, but Lemansic was tired. I would have came with Lemansic, but he was in the red, so I couldn't use him. And again, I'm only playing the uh, Fidrich games. Um, one inning, two hits, two walks. He let the inherited runners score. Um, so they take it's a tough luck loss again for. Mark Fidrich. Doug Bird gets the win 5-4. and four. 8 innings, 9 hits, 2 runs. Both earned. Walk 2, struck out 5. His earned run average 3.49. He threw 108 pitches. Steve Mingori gets his first save after blowing his first two attempts of the year. 1 inning, 2 hits. A strikeout and a huge double play ball off the bunt off Scrivener. 
who I want to put up against the wall and shoot. His ERA is 2.20. And this was the huge double play here. Mingori to Brett to Collins. The other funny thing in this game was George Brett played short. And if you go to the link that I provided to baseball, these are as-played lineups. He did play short, which I never remember him playing short. Again, this is 76. I'm a pretty young kid then. And it's not like you get to see every ball game in 76. We, there's no cable television where I lived then. Okay, and the attendance was 21,659. I'm going to say the... Player of the game. I don't know who the player of the game is. Who do we give player of the game? I mean, Nelson knocked in the two runs. Salida knocked in the winning run. I'm going to have to give player of the game to the pitcher for the Royals. Doug Bird. Doug Bird beats the Bird. <laughs> Three to two. Tough luck loss for Mark the Bird Fidrich. All right, so Dave Nelson won for four. Double. He knocked in two runs in the top of the eighth. Oh, was... That was tough. That was a tough one. Um, Amos Otis 0 for four. George Brett 1 for four. Run scored. He had a double. He, had the, he scored the game-winning run in the top of the ninth. Mayberry 2 for four. Freddie Patek pinch ran and got thrown out by Kim trying to steal. Al Collins came in to play defense at first. Hal McCray 0 for 3. Tony Saliata 2 for 4. He had the game winning RBI. One run scored. Tom Poquette 2 for 3. <clears throat> scored a run. He had a triple. Walked once. Struck out once. Otis and Nelson also struck out. Those were the three strikeouts for Fidrich. Jamie Quirk 0 for 4. Buck Martinez 0 for 2. In total, Kansas City Royals in victory, 32 at-bats, 3 runs, 8 hits, 2 doubles, 1 triple. Knocked in 3 runs, walked twice, struck out 3 times. <clears throat> for Detroit in defeat, Ron LaFleur, 2 for 4, a run scored. He had a double, a run batted in, walked once, struck out once. Uh, Pedro Garcia, 2 for 4 with a RBI. Meyer, 2 for 4 with a strikeout. Staub, tough day, 0 for 3 with a walk. Thompson, 1 for 4. Alex Johnson 0 for 4. Abrilio Rodriguez 1 for 4. Lead off single in the bottom of the ninth. We thought we had something going. Mickey Stanley came in to pinch run. And then uh, Bill uh, Bruce Kim 1 for 3 with a, a double. A run scored. He struck out twice. Bill Freehand pinch hit for him in the ninth. We He got a single. We had first and second. And then here comes the piece of poop that plays short for us. Chuck Scrivener. We wanted him to try to bunt. The runner's over to second and third. He does the worst thing. The only thing more worse was if he bunted into a triple play. He bunted into a double play. And uh, LaFleur would then strike out to end the game with Stanley at third. So in total, Scribner was one for four, as I said. Struck out twice. 35 at-bats for the Tigers. Two runs, 11 hits, two doubles. Two batted in. Two walks, six strikeouts. So let's go to what really happened. What really happened, it was a one-run ball game, except the Tigers won four to three. This Pearson baseball is pretty accurate. Unfortunately, I'm losing a lot of close games. So I really have to think, like I said, I got to start taking Fidrich out. But their bullpen, if it's not Lemansic, it's not that good. Hiller stinks, in my opinion. At least in, in I've used him in other games, Action PC. I've used him in them um, uh, out of the ballpark. He's awful. <laughs> He's playing 19. I've played a few games from 76 for, as the Tigers. All right, what really happened? Let's go to the pitching. Doug Bird only went five innings, four hits, two runs. They're both earned, struck out three. And then Mark Little came in. He went three innings. The loss. Went to, so Tom Hall came in, pitched two-thirds. Marty Patton got the loss out of the bullpen. Wow, he fell to one and seven. He used to play for the Red Sox, Marty Patton. For the Bird, Mark the Bird Fidrich went nine innings, five hits, three runs. Both of them earned. Um, I'm sorry, three runs, two of them earned. Walked two, struck out two. 
His earned run average was 1.86. He went to 5-1. and one. So three runs in the real game and three runs in the retro replay. But unfortunately, where Detroit scored two in reality, we only scored two in the retro replay. How did Detroit get their four runs? Who knocked them in? Jason Thompson knocked in two. He was two for four. He was one for four in the replay. Alex Johnson knocked in one. He was 0 for 4 in the replay. He was 1 for 4. And Mickey Stanley pinched it and knocked in a run. So those are your four runs. All right, this is Al Red Sox fan saying thank you very much for watching. Um, tough luck loss for Mark the Bird Fidgers. I'd like to say thank you to Brady Appa, a.k.a. Chris Anderson. Check out Brady Appa Trades YouTube channel. Check it out. See what it's about. If you're interested, send him a message. Thank you to ID Gesture. As he says, the meaning of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different outcome. He should be able to put a bunt down, that guy. I mean, that's twice in a row he's done that. He'll never bunt again. If it was me, I'd line him up against the wall and shoot him. Uh, it's just frustrating. I love these games. It's I just feel bad. I know it's fake anyway, but I, Friedrich is, is they're all tough luck losses. Uh, and also thank you to Stratomatic Delaware. Check out Stratomatic Delaware's channel, another great channel. So thank you very much, Jim. And also uh, T Dub TV, but check out his boxing channel, What's Blazing in Sports. So thank you to all of you. Health, happiness. Till next time. Take care. Bye bye, and God bless. And let's hope Mark Friedrich can win his next game. As the bird drops to two and four, in reality, he was five and one. Another tough luck loss for the bird. Take care. Bye-bye. God bless.